Hi, everyone. My name is Meg Hamill. I'm the VP of Education at Holland IQ. I lead the K-12 work, and I'm really excited to present the Miro board for the K-12 digital capability framework. Uh, so let's get started. I know that there are lots of ways to use a Miro board, so um, I hope you enjoy this one. Um, but before you really dive in, I want you to think about um, getting familiar with the K-12 digital capability framework ahead of time. Uh, this would be helpful for anyone um, uh, joining you in a workshop or in a group discussion. Uh, so you can do that here. There's some information here, but you can also navigate to our website. Um, the link is, is right here below um, and kind of get a sense of how it came together, what it can be used for. And the other thing you can do there is download the printable K-12 digital capability framework poster, uh, which would be really helpful if you're running a face-to-face -face workshop and you really want to get people moving around. Uh, and so you can get out your post-it notes and uh, cut up the framework and, and, and really have a, a good time. Um, and so after you do that, you're really ready to, to use this a little bit more and let's move on. So here's the K-12 digital capability framework at a glance. And I want the, the, the folks using this to really think about starting your discussion at a high level. Um, the framework it, you know, is, is segmented into four dimensions. You might wanna spend a little time just talking about what that means for you and in your context. Um, and then you could, you know, work an individual as individuals and then bring it back to the group. Um, but you'll notice here that there are little post-its on the side that you could drag in uh, and have people jot down notes, their reactions, their responses, their questions to the framework as a whole. Really, uh, you know, encourage people to to respond um, to what they're seeing. Uh, this would be a great place for upvoting uh, on the post-it notes uh, and maybe prioritizing a little bit. Uh, and of course, you see that there are 70 capability blocks, but we recommend that you stay pretty high level still. Um, the next spaces are all designed to go deeper into those capability blocks. So again, keep your discussions pretty high level. But going deeper, we've broken up each dimension into its own space. So you really can get more granular. And this is where you're going to want to really know who's in the room. Uh, if you have a group of systems leaders and uh, human resources, your IT team, um, this is the people in systems uh, section might be really relevant to them. Um, if you have uh, teaching and learning and your curriculum staff, your curriculum and instruction innovation staff, this is where a workshop um, around learning design might be really helpful. And you can dive into this capability um, uh, dimension and the capability blocks as well. So say you're having a discussion on learner experience and um, all, the, all the spaces here are set up the same so that you can use these post-its to start generating responses and questions. So say you're having a workshop and you want people to spend a few quiet minutes just uh, reacting. You, I would recommend formatting the questions into how might we questions, you know, to what degree do we, you know, teach digital liter literacy, or how might we support our learners to become responsible digital citizens? So that, that's an example of a question for this domain. And um, again, use the post-its, really think about each of these capability blocks and, um, uh, and you can have really rich discussions. Let's say you have your counseling team or, um, you know, of people who are really interested in sort of that career in college and next um, uh, next step uh, outlook at, at the school. And this is where um, this uh, dimension is gonna be really important. So naturally you're going to start discussing about how things are at in your context um, and things that are really important or things you wanna prioritize. And that's where this next space is going to be really helpful. So. This two by two is set up with an um, importance scale on one side and performance scale on the other. And all of these um, are examples of, of 
capability blocks and domains that you can plot along these graphs. You can grab these capabilities over here. This is a completely editable version of the framework. So you can click on this and copy it and then drag it over. And let's say, all right, this is one is digital climate and culture. Um, we have a great school cu culture um, and it's, it's, you know, maybe not as important as some other things, but it is pretty important. So I'm going to put it above here. Right. And this is where you can start to have really rich discussions across the domains and across the capabilities and um, and see how people rank them. You could copy this whole thing and have different groups break out and and um, and rank them differently, um, perhaps, and then have a discussion about that. And uh, speaking of tailoring this, when you are ready, a great exercise would be to um, look at this and make it your own. So not all of the capability blocks are going to be relevant to you in your context. So you can remove them. Let's say the language isn't you know, the language you use. So here you can just edit the word steam into STEM if that makes more sense. Um, one of the ideas uh, that have come up is to copy this entire thing and have groups um, make their own and then see how they compare or, different, or, or differ. So you can see that there are just tons of ways to work uh, with this Miro template and um, we hope that you can find this relevant for your strategy meetings, your staff meetings, um, and and professional development workshops. And and uh, well, good luck, and we hope you uh, stay in touch. We'd love to hear about your digital transformation journey.